as we explore the strange mysteries of the world around us and work to tackle increasingly complex phenomenon. It is of no surprise, then, that there will be an incredible number of natural phenomena that even the brightest minds of our generation cannot explain. These strange mysteries will often go unnoticed or quickly become forgotten by those who are not interested in accepting the fact that we know so little about our universe. Luckily, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we have dug up a variety of these mysterious events to talk about, and so, today, we will be going over five things that scientists cannot explain. The WOW Signal Before the establishment of the SETI project in 1973, the only radio telescope working to uncover the mystery of extraterrestrial life was that of Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Observatory that was turned on back in 1963 and had the sole purpose of listening out in the cosmos for extraterrestrial signals. The strange thing was that 14 years after it was first turned on, it received a signal that most members of the alien community deem the most substantial piece of evidence for extraterrestrial life regarding the SETI project involving radio telescopes. On the 15th of August in 1977, a 72-second long transmission was captured while the Big Ear Telescope was pointed towards the constellation Sagittarius that bore the expected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. In fact, prior to this event, back in 1959, researchers posited forth the theory that if extraterrestrial contact was ever made, it would most likely be of that in the radio wave frequency of 1420 MHz, which is the specific frequency naturally emitted by hydrogen the most common element in the universe, and therefore likely familiar to all technologically advanced civilizations. Oddly enough, the 72-second long transmission was exactly within the 1420 MHz frequency, with peaks and lows exactly equal to each other in variation, marking that not only was this a mathematically symmetrical frequency, but that there was no possible way that this frequency could have a non-artificial origin this 72-second transmission was then given the title of the WOW signal, which was named after the lead researcher who discovered the signal in the data and wrote the small side note of WOW to indicate the unbelievable nature of the data. Skeptics and researchers to this day have had massive difficulty trying to explain away what this signal could have been from, and so it could very well be that on a lonely planet out in the Sagittarius constellation, we heard the radio signal of a greeting more than 25,000 light years away. The strange humming heard in Taos, New Mexico. The small town of Taos, located in the southern state of New Mexico, is no stranger to odd reports and strange sightings. In fact, the small town is known as being a very laid-back artsy community and has been the town of origin for many famous celebrities of all kinds. It is no wonder then that when the initial reports of residents calling in about a strange humming sound of unknown origin, many speculated that it could have been nothing more than perhaps a modern art installation or mundane cause. It did not take long, however, for this strange hum to be treated more seriously when further reports began coming in one after the other. Nicknamed the Taos Hum, this strange noise was first reported back in the early 1990s, which sparked Joe Mullins, a local professor of engineering at the University of New Mexico, to conduct research into the matter. He found that the Taos Hum itself could only be heard by a very select group of people that only made up about 2% of the local population. After setting up sensitive equipment and did extensive testing of the area, he could find no unusual vibrations or sounds. Whether the noise itself was caused by external or internal factors was completely undetermined. Not only did this puzzle the professor, but it seemed to be an unexplainable phenomenon for other researchers of whom looked into the matter. To this day, reports of a strange humming at different times of the day have been heard and no one finds themselves to be any closer to finding an answer after all these years. The Space Roar 
Back in 2009, top researchers at the Goddard Space Flight Center sent a device up into space via a giant balloon known as Arcade. Arcade was an acronym that stood for Absolute Radiometer for Cosmology, Astrophysics and Diffuse Emissions, which details its mission as being that of a searching device capable of picking up diffuse radiation caused by the universe's earliest stars. It was a huge surprise then that instead of picking up these weak signals, the Arcade device captured data that scientists have described as a space roar. Although a large amount of radio waves caused via synchrotron radiation was expected by researchers at the Goddard Space Flight Center, what was recovered and analyzed turned out to be radio waves six times the normal amount expected to be heard, as well as their origin points being from that of galaxies 2.5 million light years away. This had led many to speculate the possibility that perhaps this enormous amount of background radio waves found in our universe could be that of extraterrestrial civilizations and their frequencies sent out into the vacuum of space. This could very well be the case, considering our radio wave frequencies have been spreading out like a bubble from Earth since the first transmissions were sent a little over 100 years ago. And given the fact that these extraterrestrial civilizations could predate us by millions of years, we could be picking up the faintest signals that have reached us over a vast distance of both space and time. Scientists struggle to find any other cause for this mystery and have left many wondering if whether or not we are truly alone in the universe or we are merely the latest species to tune in to an age-old galactic conversation. The Keenan, Barger and Cowie Void After the formation of the Big Bang, as matter and energy spread out from a singularity, it mostly spread out in a uniform way, predictable by most mathematicians and physicists educated in the matter. However, in recent years, it has come to the attention of many academics that though this might hold true for everywhere else in the known universe, this does not happen to be the case for the area around our immediate galaxy. It appears that our home galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy itself, is at the centre of a vast desert in regards to the universe existing in the middle of one of the largest observed voids in all of the observable universe. This void is referenced to as the KBC void, after its founders and lead researchers who came across this peculiar anomaly in each of their independent studies using various methods to prove the existence of this void and the lack of matter. Given the fact that the universe will normally disperse energy in organized filaments, it seems incredibly odd that our galaxy would find itself formed in the middle of essentially nothingness. Though these findings were made back in 2013, and the research surrounding this information is fairly recent in its discovery, this finding has been the center of many conspiracy theory claims believing that perhaps the cause for this void comes from something artificial and not a natural anomaly of the universe. This can be further supported by the fact that the strange KBC void appears to be almost perfectly spherical in nature, almost as if our galaxy was at the centre of a massively growing explosion that spread out evenly in all directions. According to Nikolai Kardashev, the Russian astrophysicist who helped to design the metric of the Kardashev scale to accurately map out the advancements of the level of technological prowess of a civilization. He believed that not only would advanced civilizations require an incredibly high output of energy requirements, but that looking for these pockets of energy or lack of energy could be clear signs of advanced extraterrestrial life and its energy requirements and usage. This could mean that the void we find ourselves to be within could be the substantial amount of evidence required to prove the energy requirements of a surrounding advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The first radio broadcast. Though its influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcasting device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor, Nikola Tesla, did not first conceive of the device until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, 
it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when first coming up with its invention, being the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its powers and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, as soon as he turned on the device, he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. This was only made more eerie as Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name, saying Tesla, one, two, three, over and over again before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that this signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many more speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human. Ranging from extraterrestrials to time travelers, the conspiracy theory community seems hell-bent on trying to discover the root cause of Nikola Tesla's first received broadcasts. But what do you all think of these strange and mysterious phenomena that science can't seem to explain? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.